I'm Sharon's online and today we're at Uplands Mill by Burgess Homes in Biddulph in um, Staffordshire. Now Uplands Mill is a development, it's been going quite a while now um, and it was built on the site of an old paper mill and, and they kept the name um, Uplands Mill just for that. They, they Biddulph's a really nice place to live, so like, it's almost like a village still and it's got, it's got a, um, a Sainsbury's, really nice place to live, you can just see over the top there beautiful places to go and walk we've got a mo pop over the top there um, it's a really really nice place Biddulph and, and incidentally it's the only housing development um, actually being built in Biddulph at all so it's very serious I know there's a, a few plots left they've got um, the Orendal coming up and uh, they've got some south walls left etc so the house type we're going to take a look at is the Francis this is a beautiful crisp white rendered five bedroom house um, I mean, this is part part within a, uh, a, a link detached, isn't it? So, without further ado, let's go and take a look. What, what is, what, what is Don't let the cats in. <laughs> okay, come on, right, okay. okay. Let's take a look. So, right into the entrance hall now. Okay. Right, okay. Let's take a look at what we've got. Right, so this beautiful house is a Francis. Yep, it's three, three story, so it five story. bedroom. Now, do you know five bedrooms are very popular with Bovis, aren't they? they are. You know? Shall we start at the top, do you think, for a change? Mm, I don't know. I don't think people like that. I think we should t stick to our conventional tour. Okay, not right. a problem. Right. Okay, then. so we've got quite a long uh -huh. entrance hall, haven't we? Well, it's wide, isn't it? What we've got in here. Okay, first of all, then downstairs, Lou. Is that the boiler in there, do you think? It's warm enough for yeah, it. it yeah, actually, it's that's all right. Hid away in there, isn't You've it? Got your central heating control. Yeah. Little cute radiator. Yeah, good room. Huge window. Yeah, actually. Loop. Yeah, that's the biggest window we've ever seen exactly. in a downstairs WC, isn't it? I like that, but it's really light, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So the next door. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a big cupboard, isn't you know? That's a huge cupboard. Do you know, right? They could. Mm, I know why they haven't put the boiler in that room because it hasn't got the ventilation for yeah, the it's external. Internal, yeah, isn't it? but yeah. it's a good sized cupboard, isn't and it? Do you know, you could actually put a desk in there, or oh, you'd bang your head. But oh, look you at could it. put your teenager in your PlayStation. Look at the, in there. the detail and around the plastering of that stair. Mm, it's immaculate, isn't it? Okay. Really good. Cupboard. Yeah, it is good. I like yeah. how them stairs are just. Away, yeah, and they've, they? put, they've still put a banister up. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Right, so if we go this way. Yeah. Oh, we've got a lounge diner. We don't have, seem to have any doors on this one. No, they've taken the doors off. Cheeky oh, Bovis. Only seen once in Milton Keynes. Yes. Cheeky Bovis. <laughs> um, right. But I can see why they've taken that door off because, it, you know. Well, which way would it open? Would it open that yes, way? Yes, yes, it would. The table? That Not way, that I'd way imagine. Lounge. It would be here, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, we know how awkward doors are. We've swapped a door. I, only in asking the orange house. Yeah. So, this is nice. This is a nice space. This is, and it, you know, if I walk back, this is the whole length of the house, isn't it? Look. It is. Yes. Well, it's the whole side, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's good got a dining table with six chairs. Yeah. Very plush. I like that. Good window to the front. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the lounge area. So how do you feel about how do you feel about um, this kind of uh, this kind of set followed through open plan dining yeah. room? Do you think a dining room should be enclosed? Do you know I'm actually I'm undecided how much people actually use a formal dining room anymore. Yeah. I don't know. It's do you know? Nice to have. I, It'd be interesting to see if there's a breakfast area. One thing I don't like is this there. I don't know what that's covering. Um, I don't know whether there's be, a... It'll be pipe work of some Yeah, sort. but... Uh, anyway, if we can look at this end of the room... just looks a bit... Uh, it, it, it actually... I don't know whether it really... It breaks the flow of the room, doesn't it, in a way? But also, it does set, it indicate that this is a separate... I don't know, it's... I don't like that, but, you know... Well, you can't see it because it's boxed in. Yeah. <coughs> We've got two sofas here. I don't know about this configuration because I don't know where you'd put your TV, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that everybody's got. You've got points. Yeah. Yeah? But you wouldn't have a sofa there if you were going to have your TV here, would you? Yeah. I don't think. So, 
yes, it's very lovely the way they've got their sofas, but I don't think that's how most families live. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. If you've got a corner sofa, yes, I suppose it could go there, couldn't it? And you could have your yeah. TV over that way. With but it's a, it's a good size room, room, isn't it's it? It's a good size lounge. The, is. the landscaping is lovely. Look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? Just it needs a bit of a cut. Yeah, but... Look at the detail on these beautiful curtains, Steve. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Yes, the landscaping is is nice. There's it is nice, there. but just looking on that lower section there, you've got some random random post there. Just put there. Put it away out of sight, you know. Um, and the grass needs cutting, but then yeah. it has been horrific with yeah. the rain, hasn't yeah. it, this week? That's it. But it is a nice garden, isn't it? Really nice. So. Good room. Beautiful rug. Yeah. I like the wallpaper. I do. Yeah, it's a different sort, isn't it? I like it. Okay. Well, there's very much a nature theme going on, isn't it? If you look at the wallpaper in here, you've got the trees, topiary. Right, so, to, kitchen. So we've got, yeah. a door, we've got the door left on here. Yeah, that's the door, yeah. Yeah, well, no problem with that. Okay, nice room. I like this. It's very light, yeah. isn't it? Do you know that's what I love about Bovis houses is you just, I mean, there's literally that whole glass wall there from the back there and they pushed it out a little bit and added a few little skylights in there just to give it... Do you know, you can actually go outside there, Steve, and just show what the back of this house look like. Yeah, it's a big plot. It really is a big plot, isn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, in terms of the two lots of... French doors on the back of the house. Yeah. 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 So they've actually got the lux windows there. Yeah, it just adds that extra bit, you know. Well, it makes this breakfast area. Yeah, and lovely. it pushes, you know, it's pushed it out a little bit, but gives you that much needed space. But because of the difference in the ceiling height, yeah. it just adds a bit of interest. It yeah. It just makes it look like a separate area. That's it, yeah. So with this, you've got a little breakfast area. You could have a little two seater sofa or something there as well. You can yeah. have a TV on the wall. Yeah, really good. Let's just gives you a bit of flexibility. So let's get down to details in the kitchen then. So you've actually got a lot of cupboards and units here, haven't you? Yeah, we've you got know? a full run with integrated appliances. Yeah. So what we've got, washing machine, yeah. usual, yeah, so everything's in, in here. Because there isn't a separate yeah. utility, so you've got all your appliances yeah. actually in this room. Yeah, so plenty of cupboard space underneath. Do you think that works in a five bed? Or do you think people would expect... Personally, I like a utility somewhere somewhere separate yeah. to put the laundry. Yeah. But if it hasn't got one, it hasn't got one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots and lots of cupboard space. Double oven. This would be the fridge and freezer. Yeah. yeah. It smells very nice of coffee in here. Right yeah. Now, it? I think yeah. someone's had a coffee. No. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. And that's a lot of light bulbs. No, isn't it? maybe then. So that gives you an indication that with the current light fittings in this house of how many different light bulbs you need. There's certainly a variety of different lights. And when you think about it, you've got up lighters, down that's, lighters, yeah. fitted lights. Yeah. Wow, that'd just blow your mind, wouldn't it? Wouldn't, yeah. Find a light bulb in yeah. all of that. Anyway, right. So we've got lots of cupboard space, we've got some nice drawers. Always good under the hob. So what are we looking at here? We're we looking at the kitchen. Yeah, they do soft clothes. Yeah. Good size hob. Yeah. With the five rings. So you've got your wok ring in the middle, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's have a look here. It's saying you may wish to enhance the impressive all inclusive standard. And that is true with Bovis. You do get a lot of all inclusives that you don't get with other developers. So with these, the extras with this will be the granite worktops, it's saying the undermounted seat. Presumably, seat. this kitchen is your kind of standard. Yeah. That you'd get so you can upgrade yeah. from this yeah i have to say this this worktop isn't my cup of tea no but but it's within the theme isn't it it is now we've um, got this all got this awkward bit in the corner here just there do you think that might have been better just pushing that out and adding just an additional cut unit there i think it's a bit of a i think they could have put a corner cupboard in do there. you know i think I, i'm being honest here there's some things in this house that aren't weighing up, really. Well, but you've still got a good bank of units there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, but it's, you know, there's nooks and crannies that are... Yeah, there's some unusual shapes. Yeah. Okay, let's head upstairs on the to the first floor. Okay, so we've got a little token banister just here on the side as we this go around. The, the 
post that runs right the way yeah. through, isn't it? And you've actually got the um, that all plastered, the yeah. nice, nice detail. Because obviously it is a three-story. Yeah, room, very architectural. So we've got quite a, quite a square landing now, haven't we? So we're on the first floor. Yeah. Yeah, big landing, isn't it? Actually? Yeah, it is, good size. Right, hang on, let me just... Uh, Figure out, then. Well, there's a bathroom at the front. Right, and it's in the right place. Yeah. So, so this is family bathroom. Love the tiles. Ooh. Really nice, striking. Do you know it's a good size, isn't it? And the bath's big, <laughs> it's one isn't of those it? Beautiful square bath. Yeah, it, it leaps out at you. This does. This has got this. This is oh, stylish. Oh, spider in the bath as well. Is there? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love this. Yeah. I like the way the taps are on the side. Yes. There. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely Oh, I don't know if the size lady is a pick a spider out. Mm. Might have to do it for you. Yeah. Um, I like the positioning of the toilet and the sink. Yeah, it is really nice, isn't it? Really room, lovely, you? striking colour. Very yeah, nice indeed. Very nice. Yeah. Right. So on the bedroom on the front again. So, oh, hang on a sec. Stairs. So this is a little, a little, this is a, a double windowed room. I think that might be bedroom five. Well, there's only one room at the front. Two rooms, bathroom and bedroom yes, five. Yes, unfortunately it's not to plan. Well, so you know how that throws me. I think this must be bedroom five. Yeah. It's not because the stairs... I think we need to send you on a um, reading a, ma a plan backwards, Scott. It's bedroom five. Five, yeah, it front. is. Yeah. yeah. So it's got two windows, really a lot of light in here, isn't there? And also they've used white blinds, which obviously reflect the light. They do... They don't distract from the light with no. that you'd get with curtains. It's very crisp, isn't it? It's a lovely bedroom. I'll tell you what, um, <clears throat> this has been, it just goes to show a room like this, it's been done in a kind of magnolia, is it? Or lighter yeah, than that? Yeah, this is a but it shows paint. though, you can make a room a room by just furnishings and, and, and the colours that you use with it's things. It's very simple, but it's lovely, yeah. it's very pretty. But you take everything out of it and it is just a magnolia room. Yeah. So... Here we've got the boiler yeah. next to the bedroom and then we've got another one here which is a cupboard oh you've got some space here yeah. haven't you so hang on a second let me just figure this out right then so i think we've got this is bedroom one okay master bedroom master bedroom yes because yeah. it's got an ensuite. okay so wow let me just look at the um dimensions for this then 13 foot six by 12 six mm. It's a good size bedroom. It's a good look, it? a bit more of a better look at the garden. You can see this site's got all sorts of levels. Do you know though, because of the bricks they've used, it's quite a traditional looking place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I like it. It's quite old fashioned looking, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That kind of um quintessential English yeah. type of house. But that's what Biddle's about really. It is yeah. very, very like nice. That. So right, so hang on a sec. Right in here, then they've got a double bed, but you could fit a super king size bed in here if you wanted one with furniture at the side of yeah. the bed. You, you could fit a humongous bed in. It here is. If you it's wanted. it's got scope and you've got another, oh, um, yeah, a good walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, it's wardrobe. wardrobe. You've got room here for a big chest of drawers yeah. or whatever. Your TV, loads of room, loads of room in here, loads of space. And then we've got an ensuite as well, and it's a good size. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so you've got the shower in the corner. I like the handles on that. It's nice. Plenty now I'm guessing there. the position of this now. Yeah. I'm guessing that 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 downstairs runs right the way down. So that will be yeah. the the stack pipe, yeah, um, the soil pipe, and the toilet all running through. Because yeah. normally on a house they'll run to the back of the property. Yeah. Um, but obviously because this is um, yeah, and it's and it's a mid terrace, a so mid link detached. Obviously yeah. you've got to do that. So yeah. that answers that question, doesn't well, it? What would you rather have? An ensuite with a small boxed in area in the lounge, or not? Yeah. It just goes to show the complexities of building Absolutely, houses. Yeah. And how you have to logistically work round the, yeah. the pipework. And to make them look good with whatever yeah, you do. Sure. So and good I think, they, I think Bovis have actually done a good job with that. Because you do need an ensuite. Yeah. See, right. sometimes I ask the questions and then later they're answered, aren't they? But that's yeah. how what how live this is. Right, this is bedroom four then. We just see it as it is. 
good size, isn't it? Yeah, Double good, bedroom. Uh, the windows, it really, really, we've got a lot of light to play with, with these rooms. Okay, in here, they've not got a wardrobe, but there is room for one. Yeah. There's room for chest of drawers if you want it. They've got a double bed, you could fit a bigger bed. The rooms are actually very wide yeah. on this level, aren't they? Yeah. But you mean you look at it from the outside, it looks quite modest, doesn't it? You don't realise how much space there is yeah. inside here. Yeah. Because then, you know, so we're going up to the next level now. Now, just taking a look now of how, how this has been done now. So Ooh. we've got a mini landing with a dormer sort of there. This is nice, it's quite an entrance up to Torby, really. So this could be a little area for a desk, couldn't it? Absolutely. I like this little mini landing. It's just nice, a nice bit of detail, it? yeah. It's very light. Yeah. So, bedroom, we've got a front bedroom again. Hang on a sec, then let me try and figure out which is which. Right, I think this is bedroom two. So we're up in the roof now. Again, we've got a really nice dormer here. And this is a great position, and you can just see right up the road. You can see everything that comes in and everything that goes out. It'd be a spot on neighbourhood watch house, wouldn't it? <laughs> what a good position. Yeah. yeah. I love the symmetry in the development as well. Oh, either side looks the same. Right, what have we got in here? We've got ooh, we've got a built in wardrobe, but it goes right back yeah. under the eaves. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. And this actually is a very good size double yeah, bedroom. It is. Plenty of room. I like it's it. Very cri very crisp lines on the dormer. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, what have we got then? That was bedroom two. Uh, this is bedroom three. Again, then. another great size. At the back here, we've got now we've got um, we've got skylights in the um, Veluxes in this side of the uh, at the back of the house here. Yes, they run right the way along. You might want to have a look actually, because there's a fantastic view from up here. Um, I'm just getting into the window. Yeah, you can see over there. You can see a lot of like um, a lot of mocop and stuff like that. Beautiful views, and it shows what kind of rural area this is. Mocop is a place. Yeah, mocop is a place, but it's also a ridge where you, a lot of walkers go and stuff like that. With fantastic views over Cheshire. So let me just get yourself back in there, and we can shut that window for me. So this is done in a kind of lad's room, isn't it? It's a teenage boy's room. Good size. I mean, they've not got a wardrobe or anything in here, but there is room for yeah. additional furniture. We've seen a lot of these, these great stickers. I, I'm yeah. a big fan of these. I really like them, the decals. They're, they're great, aren't they? So, finally, we've got a shower room on this level yeah, as well. The final room of the, um, of the house. Gosh, this is big. Good size that shower is as well, isn't That's it? I like fabulous. the detail in the shower. The central dif differentiality. It's, it's very symmetrical. It's nicely tiled. It very is. Nice. Yeah. But this is such a great size, isn't it? They've got room for your laundry basket. They've got a towel rail. They've even put a chair in here because yeah. there's so much space. You can have a chest of drawers. Yeah. Very good. But very it's, good. It's a great. So let's great go back onto the great. Yeah, it is good size. So what does the Francis offer? Five substantial bedrooms. Yeah. Great ground floor accommodation. Yeah, let's just do it together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah. All right. It's a yeah. good size house, isn't it? It's good for a really family. Great size house. So if you're a family, this is perfect, isn't yeah. it? And uh, all, all, it's got all the bogus quality you expect. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Yeah. Um, developers actually want to know. They do. They want to know what you think of their houses. So if you're thinking about buying one, if you've looked around this development, or if you're buying a similar house to this house type on another development anywhere, because they're replicated on sites all around the country, please let us know, because they'd like to know what you think, if there's anything additional that you'd like, because obviously you're mm -hmm. the critics, you're the customers, so please let us know what you think. And we've got plenty of bogus homes, uh, do, um, houses and developments on our channel. Um, if you know, just, just pop onto www.showroomsonline.com, go to the directory and click bogus homes. You'll be given our playlist of all of our um, videos that we've got and all of our reviews. So, from Emma and Steve, thank you for watching. Thank you.